was a, a, a wonderful idea that actually uh, came out at a big meeting of lupus experts from uh, biotechnology, from government, from uh, academic centers. And the goals of that original meeting were to think about what's standing in the way of getting good lupus clinical trials. We've had a lot of problems in lupus clinical trials trying to interpret the data. We're not sure how to best design these trials. We're not sure which medications people can be on during the trials when you're adding on a new uh, medication. And the idea is that if we took um, data from all the completed clinical trials and combine them together, we could ask very important questions that one trial might not really have the answer to. For example, in most clinical trials, people are on a number of different background medications. To try to figure out in one trial what the impact of the background medication is means you're only looking at a tiny subset of the entire population. But if you combine the data from a lot of trials, you could really get a handle on what each one of those drugs is doing compared to the others and, and get a better idea of how they might be interfering with the analysis of the clinical trials. So this project uh, at the moment is only looking at people who are in the um, placebo groups from a number of different clinical trials that have been completed. And it's able to now get enough patients from these placebo groups to break down the different background medications and see how they compare to each other in terms of percent of people in these placebo groups who are meeting the response criteria. And uh, already we're finding that some drugs seem to give more responses than others. So that when you design a clinical trial, you can get an idea of who you want to put in that placebo group and what drugs they should be taking. But there are many, many other questions we can ask. We can ask questions such as, what's the best way to measure endpoints? What's the best way, in other words, is a person better or not? Which are the actual things that we ought to be looking at to see if a person's better or not. Um, we can look at subsets of patients and how they do uh, with different kinds of medications that are standard treatments today. So there are any number of questions that uh, really valuable information that can be gotten from these data that unless you put all of this information together from many trials, you wouldn't uh, have enough patients of a certain subset to be able to see these things. The resource that this provides for understanding more about the uh, nature of lupus, what happens to people who have certain kinds of criteria in the beginning, you know, you could, lupus patients aren't all like each other, so you can look at people who have antibodies to double-stranded DNA. You can look at people who have kidney involvement. You can look at people who have bad discoid rashes. It's hard to get enough patients in any subset internationally to say much about what happens to those people. But using data from multiple international trials, we're going to have a, a marvelous resource to find out um, really what happens to people, what happens to people who are treated with this drug versus that drug. What if we find out, for example, that one of these drugs is doing a lot better on the, the very bad discoid lupus rashes than another? That would be amazing. It's a potential that we could find that out. So there's much more beyond the design of clinical trials that we're going to get out of this once we get a mass of critical data.